Well, hello and welcome to my exhibition, Cathartic. And I named it Cathartic. Thank you very much to Erica Minnery for the suggestion. Cathartic is a, comes from the Greek term, spelled with a K by the way, um, meaning to create something beautiful and also emotional release. Now the exhibition that we have here today is a journey through the past 18 months of what has gone on in our lives and some of the changes and it has been a big emotional time. So I'll take you on a grand tour of the exhibition. So right here we have Harry the hairy cow. He's fairly large and um, well in fact it's a she, in fact Harry's a girl. So my friend Jen has these cows and the children name little cows and Harry happens to be a girl. That's okay. Now here we have my friend Helen um, and I've got to say, I'd like to thank a number of people who actually made this all come together at the very last minute. And one of them is Matilda Gallery Framing, who did all my framing for me at really short notice, which was really lovely, and got it all done, and it's looking beautiful. And um, Mid Coast Printing, who got all my printing done at very short notice and got that all done as well. So we really, and thank you very much to Peter, who put up with me running around like a mad chook to get it all done in three days. And the other person I want to thank is Helen, my friend Helen, who's a, a very notable um, basket weaver. Um, she does a freeform basket using natural materials, as you can see. A lot of the, these are just for display purposes only. They come from her private collection. If you want to talk to Helen about that, I would suggest get in touch with me and I'll give you her contact details. But these are for display and they're very beautiful. So this is a watercolour portrait, portrait of um, one of my grandchildren. This is baby Leo. And uh, he's now 11, but this is when he was a very cute little baby. He just got his first few teeth. This is his two younger sisters, Ayla and Luella. And um, they are very beautiful girls. And all my grandchildren, um, I do take commissions for portraits. These are my grandchildren as examples. This is Sophia um, having a Zen moment uh, after one of her big brothers had annoyed her and she'd thrown something at him, and as you do with big brothers because they are annoying. And this is one of her big brothers. This is her eldest big brother. It wasn't him that she threw things at because he wouldn't do something like that. This is Leroy. Um, we have this, the little drummer. Now, when I was in uh, France, uh, I was at an Africa festival, and this little boy, still in nappies, all he wanted to do was beat that drum, and he was so into it. He was so cute. Um, this one's called The Kiss. It's off a, um Italian um, sculptor and, uh, named Gugametti, and he carved beautiful women and he had this fantasy that one of them would come alive and fall in love with him and he was just obsessed with this statue falling in love with him and this is my depiction of Gugametti which is quite fun I think. This one's not for sale, it's for example only, um, I take commission for pet portraits and these are my three labs um, who I'm sure you could come up with a great um, People have suggested what they're all thinking because they do have a special character. Um, this is one of our cats. This is Scuzzy. Um, so, yeah, I do take um, much love cat, this girl. So, uh, we have here uh, our first passion fruit of the season. So, we planted a vine, and this is the first flower, and I was so excited about it. I painted a picture of it. Um, the uh, Fruit of Passion, that one's called. All these paintings are for sale, by the way, so if you need to know anything about any of them, please get in touch with me. This is White Magnolia with gold leaf. Um, so that um, this gold leaf in the background has um, a bit of fun going on. And this is some more of Helen's um, weaving and basketry and the bottoms made out of copper wire, which I've always found absolutely beautiful, that one. So calla lilies are our next one, another watercolour. And it's, um, as you can see, a reasonably large one. We can move around here. We have our striking pink dahlia, another large watercolour. Um, had to buy that plant from Bunnings just because I love the flowers so much. 
<laughs> Pink tulips, um, a nice soft one, painted in colours that I thought would go very nice in the Hamden style homes where you've got a lot of white and, um, and the soft colours. Then we start getting to some bold colours. So the hippie astrums, flower in summer, absolutely no, nothing shy about a hippie astrum. They're completely bold and out there, big, strong flowers. Don't last very long, but they are very beautiful. Um, Flanders poppies um, remind me of France. When I, go to, when I was going to France every summer, the Flanders poppies are all through the wheat fields and they do come in many, many colours. I had collected seed from pale pink through all the reds to a um, mauve one and I, I really adore the Flanders poppies. Hopeless is a cut flower, you pick them and their petals drop, drop off almost instantly but they make a beautiful subject for a painting. This is um, daffodils, the signal is springtime and when we were in France and it was cold in February and the daffodils all came out and was like, oh, that is so good. I think it's going to get warm soon, which was very welcome. Um, it did rain a lot while we were there, and this one was um, done in France as well. So um, this rose got a lot of water on it. So we did. I did the flower drops. We have um, a little delicate little summer orchid, and another. So this is a little red and white summer orchid. Um, that should be flowering fairly soon if it's going to flower at all. And this is just like, let's have the sunshine. That sunflowers are actually starting to flower right now, which is lovely. I have a whole selection of cards for people to purchase. Um, here I have also information about um, commissioning portraits. A difference, the price depends on the size, the number of people that are in the portrait. Um, for people, I well, I, I, I work off really good quality photos, so if you have a really good quality photo of your pet, I can work off that. For people, I may have to take photos to get the right lighting and things, and to make sure that I get the right likeness, because we want your people to look like your people. So we move into the other part of the gallery. And here we have, um, this is um, the fire season that we had last summer. And this was what was happening um, down at um, Old Bar just after the fires raised through it all and uh, the kookaburra um, examining um, his, his area completely devastated. And then very soon after, the Christmas bells were the very first thing to come up. So that was the new sign, the first signs of life after that fire went through. Some more of Helen's creations here. Um, we got a little. Um, then we move into our little French section. So this is a um, little typical French kitchen in the ancient kitchens. And we move up to Paris and a Paris morning, a beautiful sunshiny morning in shades of yellow, all shades of yellow. And this one's down in the south of France, so it's after Cezanne. It's um. It's a watercolour after a very famous painting. <coughs> Pardon me, got the sneezes. Um, yeah, it's got a low battery, you're going to have to be quick. We have some red tulips. We have a French, um, this is a uh, community garden in France and a lovely wooden wheelbarrow. Some irises from France again. They come out in um, early spring and summer, so a purple iris. Uh, this one is um, an early morning surf in the fire season, so everything was tinted with the smoke and the fire and, and it just made the, everything glow golden. So this one's done with gold leaf acrylic and acrylic on board. We move into a bit more of a peaceful time with our tranquil waters and in the shallows of tropical waters and beautiful colours. This one's over at Pathead, looking south, um, Connors Beach, I think it's called. It's Pathead. Um, this one's at um, Coffs Harbour. What's the name of that beach you go surfing? Macaulay's. Macaulay's Headland, yes. Macaulay's Headland. There's some nice pandanus there and some nice little rocks. 
So it was an early morning when Peter was out catching waves. I snapped that one. This one's actually watercolour on canvas. That's up at Red Rock. Beautiful reflections in the wet sand that um, I really enjoyed. We're up there camping one weekend. Um, this one's all about storms and wild weather. And I love the backlighting and the, all the different colours that happens in water and the drama of that one I really enjoy. This is our hen. She's a very curious little girl and she's just a bit of fun. And she's always interested in what is going on. And if you have anything in your hand with scraps in it, she would rather eat it out of your hand than put it on the dirty ground. She's a bit fussy. Um, this is Crescent Head. Yes, so I'll just see that's at Crescent. And uh, looking towards Smoky Cape. And that one's Crescent Head. And this one's... Uh, the flannel flowers on the headland um, out near Little Bay near South West Rocks and I, I love the flannel flowers. Um, I used to grow them commercially and still one of my very favourite flowers. So this one's an acrylic. Um, we've got another acrylic here which is a very typical um, beach track to any of our East Coast beaches. This one's actually just made up imaginary, but it could be anywhere on our East Coast with the Casuarina and the Pandanus. This is some stormy water down at, um, down at Cabin again, and um, there was a lot of action going on with the waves hitting the rocks and bouncing back and bouncing around all these, these little waves, so, uh, little rocks and things. So it was really quite dramatic, another dramatic seascape. I love the moods that the ocean can depict. Um, this one, quite different, and a lot of you will recognise this, Trobay, um, Trobay boulders and the lovely um, blues and hues that come into the bay. Again, we've got, well, we've got banks here and we've got pandanus, typical of our east coast from my friends overseas. These are trees that are very typical. This one's over at Diggers Beach and early in the morning the reflection um, from the rocks there is, is really beautiful and um, yeah, so I just took my interest. Uh, this is another um, beach again, probably just an imaginary one, that one. I don't know where that is, I can't remember. So it's uh, about the, the reflection again. So let's talk about the reflections. Really, it was um, capturing that and then capturing the depth of the mountains behind and that lovely three-dimensional thing. Now, these, these ones, um, so some more of Helen's minute, very detailed, tiny little baskets. They're absolutely delightful. So you could fit them into the palm of your hand. They're so tiny and so delicate. They're... So most of her work goes to Alice Springs. And speaking of Alice Springs, this is where Emily comes from. Emily is a artist from Alice Springs, now since passed away, of course. This is a painting from some time ago. And um, she did these paintings that were not your typical dot painting. She was very famous, she became very famous. And they were splotches. She did splotch paintings and really bright colours. But everything about her was the colour of that red desert. And I just, she really took my interest. This is James Bui Dungay. James is a local to the Maclay Valley. He's a world champion gum leaf player and quite the character. I met James on a train probably 20 or 30 years ago in Sydney and he talked my ear off all the way to Kempsey. <laughs> and um, this is the Hill Tribe Wife. Now, um, I, I did a jungle trek up in northern Thailand and this is right on the Burmese border and these are displaced people from Burma and um, this is one of the wives of the chief. He had many and she was a gorgeous little thing and had a beautiful little boy that um, I had a lovely time with but yeah so that's the hill tribe people and look thanks for taking the time to have a look at the exhibition i'm talking really quickly because the phone's running out of battery fast and i hope that gives you a little bit of an insight what's going on here and if you're in the area please come and have a visit and say hi